Let's talk about three simple steps that you can take to make better shopping decisions when you're out trying new things at stores. I know it can be frustrating because sometimes you find that you're in the store and you somewhat love it or you think that you like it and then you get home and then you feel like you don't really want it anymore. So these are three steps that you can take that will help you make better decisions. If you have not taken the busy lady style status quiz, you must go to myclosetedit.com and take the quiz to find out what your busy lady style status is. And this is kind of a follow-up to it because once you know a little bit more about what your primary style is, you want to go out shopping. You want to try out something new. You want to go find some new styles and pieces that can refresh your wardrobe for the season. The first tip, do not go shopping for last minute items. How many of you have done that? Because I'm sure you all have. I know I've done it. And when you go out and you shop at the last minute, there are certain things that don't work. So one, you're already stressed out because you have an event that you have to go to or something coming up and you don't have the right outfit. So that is already stressful. The next thing is that sometimes you have something in mind so specific, the style, the color, how it's supposed to look, something you saw on Pinterest and then you don't end up finding it so you spend hours shopping and feel disappointed when you don't have anything at the end of your shopping trip so the solution it seems so easy but we forget to do it so i want you to mark in your calendar at least at least two weeks if you can before the special event or a date mark in your calendar a day to go shopping a day that you are going to prepare yourself and set yourself up for success going in knowing that you are going to leave a store and you're going to find that piece that you want. You have to go in with a more open mind to what's actually available. Although you think you saw this perfect dress or perfect outfit on Pinterest or Instagram, you're likely not gonna find that because you have to work with what's actually in store color wise and style wise at the moment. So go in with more of an open mind when you shop and you will leave with less heartache. Number two, make sure that you are focused and present. If you go shopping and it's something that you're already dreading and your mind is thinking about your to-do list, your kids, everything you have to do for work, what you're leaving at home, you are already setting yourself up for failure because you are not happy about being there. There is something about having a positive mindset that makes a huge change even in the way that you shop. Set yourself up for success by already thinking that you're going to leave the situation, the shopping trip that's supposed to be about you and helping you feel comfortable and confident and stylish. You're gonna leave the session feeling really good about yourself and finding what you need. So go in already really positive. While you're there, please ask for assistance. If you need sizes and you just wanna go in and out, make sure that you find a sales associate that is more attentive to help you go and get the sizes that you need when you need it. Make sure you go in also with enough items to try on while you're waiting. So those are two other tips that go with that. Number three, listen to your intuition. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you enough how important this is and not just pretty much every part of your life, but also when you're shopping. Sometimes we already know when something doesn't work, yet we really try to make it work. Or we get an opinion from somebody that is in the fitting room as well, or a best friend, or the sales associate telling us how great something looks on us or fits, yet we don't feel good in it. If you find yourself that you're in front of the mirror and you're fidgeting with that piece, or it just doesn't feel right, it looks good, like it fits perfectly, but it's just not something you're gonna gravitate to, just go with your intuition. Don't try to make it work because of the price tag, don't try to make it work because everybody else likes it on you. You know what you are actually going to wear. I do not believe that you have to love fashion 
or know about fashion to really make good decisions when you're out shopping. So I hope these tips are really useful for you. I hope that next time you go out shopping, you mark it in your calendar, you make it more of an experience that is about you and you're focused on just feeling good and finding the right pieces and not dreading it as much. I hope that you also follow your intuition because that's so important. You don't need to listen to anybody else when you're shopping. You know I'm all about functional fashion. So go check out myclosetedit.com. Check out the blog. We always have new posts about functional fashion advice that will be helpful for you to open your mind to new ideas on how to wear outfits, what to look for during the season. And they're all obviously on trend, but they're things that are functional and that could work for your busy or casual lifestyle. If you're all about photos, definitely find us on Instagram. We've always got something new. I'd love to hear your comments as well. I want to make sure that everything that we're posting is really helpful. So you can go to at thecloset.edit and find us there as well. And subscribe to this video, please. I would love to see your guys' comments and feedback. And I want to know about how your shopping trip is going.